Hey, what's going on guys? Well, I found an interesting lighter I wanted to uh, share with you guys. So basically, uh, we have a grill lighter, right? Pretty convenient, good for uh, getting down there, lighting the, uh, the pilots on the grill or on a water heater or whatever, uh, getting down into like jar candles and stuff. Very convenient, right? We all know the grill lighter. Okay, and of course everyone knows the Bic lighter. Also very convenient, but pocket sized. So what do you get when you cross the grill lighter with the Bic lighter? You get this thing. <laughs> this is uh, an interesting hybrid of both these uh, these lighters. I saw this at a Dollar Tree. Uh, specifically, it was online by the register. You know, like when you're standing there, usually you have candy and all kinds of crap like that. Well, Dollar Tree has like decks of cards and rubber bands and all kinds of random stuff. You know, the impulse purchase uh, aisle, basically. So uh, I was standing online. I saw these. I had to get them. Um, because I saw a good, um, you know, benefit in using it as a uh, disposable pipe lighter. Okay, usually when I'm smoking a pipe and I don't want to break out a nice lighter, I'll use a Bic. That's kind of a pain in the butt. With this, with this little extension here, very similar to the grill lighter, but on a micro scale, serves the same function. Where I can get down deep into a bowl, and uh, yeah, so it's kind of a kind of a benefit there. Very good for for pipe lighting, but also good for other stuff like. I don't know, maybe fireworks, light infuses, all kinds of things. I mean, use your imagination. Uh, but it's just it's just interesting. It is still pocket size. It's not quite as convenient as this, as a regular Bic, because it's a little bit bigger with that extension. And But the big advantage is it is an electric lighter, okay, as opposed to a regular, uh, you know, flint and uh, wheel. We have an electric spark. Uh, what I don't like about it is there's no flame adjustment. These are pre-adjusted. Here's another one. I saw it in, in green, they had a bunch of green ones, and then way in the back they had an orange one. And everyone was waiting for me, it was like five people online, when I was pulling all of them off the shelf to get to the orange one so I can show you both colors. I really wish this came in like black and red, which it probably does. Okay, I'll have to look it up online. This is Crocs brand. Now when I saw this, I'm like, oh what, like the shoe? And I kind of laughed. Uh, but it is. It's the same logo, I believe, as Crocs. You know, the, the whatever they are, sandals, flip-flops. No, they're not sandals. They're like water shoes. You know what I'm talking about, right? Crocs. Um, yeah, same brand. I know that they make a, uh, a grill lighter, all right? But now they make the handy lighter, which is a, kind of a hybrid. So yeah, disadvantages, no adjustment for the flame. Your flame, I mean, the flame is good. I'm good with that size. It's a little bigger than some people might want because it won't conserve fuel as much. Um, it's not super low. It's not huge. It's right in the middle somewhere, kind of a medium flame. Uh, it is not refillable. These are truly disposable. What I like about <laughs> these lighters, when you have electric lighters, when you're all done, there's no fluid, you break them open and you get the, uh, the part that's underneath the, the button here and you can use that to shock people, which is hilarious. Um, but yeah, the Crocs Handy Lighter. Interesting, very cool for disposable pipe lighter. So yeah, and uh, already testing this, it's not, it for like regular size candles, like uh, say a Yankee large jar candle, um, it works great. You can get in there. You don't need this massive lighter to you know reach all the way down. Um, it's just a little bit more convenient for that as well. But uh, yeah, there you go. Just wanted to share that with you guys. One dollar each from uh, Dollar Tree. Sometimes I, I can make sure I get that right because sometimes I, I mix up the dollar store names because there's so friggin' many of them. I remember back in the day when I lived in Jersey and I was probably. Uh, maybe 12 or 13 years old, uh, there was a dollar store that opened up down by my strip mall. There was a shop right and a pharmacy and something else, I forgot, a bookstore. And uh, on the end, they opened a dollar store. And this is the first time in my entire life I ever heard of a dollar store. I'm like, what is that? You can only imagine, right? You go in there, guess what? Everything is a dollar. But the old school, the OG dollar stores, everything really was a dollar. And most things were like, two for a dollar or four for a dollar. And what it basically was, was I don't know if you guys are familiar with Oriental Trading, the company Oriental Trading does like bulk items on just random cheap things. Like you get a lot of 500 rubber balls, you know, bouncy balls for like 10 bucks or whatever. Or like, you know, a thousand little plastic spider rings for Halloween. Just really random stuff mass produced in China. Um, and the original dollar stores that I've seen were that stuff. It was, it was food, first of all, the food that was in dollar stores was all out of date. It was all past its due date, you know what I mean? So you get like a, a Gatorade bottle that's, you know, a month past its due date or like little snack bars that are like, you know, two or, or three for a dollar, you know, and it was, it was totally 
probably not allowed, <laughs> to be honest. I don't think you can technically sell food that's past the expiration date, uh, but I don't know the legalities of that. But that's what it was. You went in there and it was literally like uh, a Chinese shop in America. And you get all this, all this junk for really, really cheap. But uh, as time went on, they started uh, coming out with other things. And then of course, like places like Dollar Tree where everything truly is a dollar, that's nice. But then you have other places, um, you know, that, you know, only a couple things in the store are a dollar. I call those dollar at a time stores. Not dollar stores, they're a dollar at a time store. If anything, they're convenience stores. But sometimes it's a little, um, you know, a little tricky because the titles make you think it's a dollar, you know. Like Dollar General. Dollar General, yeah, Dollar Store. You walk in there and you grab some off shelf and it's like three bucks. You're like, what the hell? But anyway, I'm not gonna get a rant on Dollar Stores. You guys know the deal. But these are cool. I thought this is pretty, pretty cool for a dollar. So if you're into lighters and gadgets and all kinds of stuff, and more specifically, if you smoke a pipe and you're the guy using the Vic all the time, um, this might be a little bit more convenient for you and it's just as cheap. So that's it, just a little peek at the uh, Crocs Handy Lighter. I like them, they're pretty cool. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Take care.